Hi there, welcome back to Pathfinder Kingmaker. And we're in the inconsequent debates, but we cannot go there. We cannot go there. We need Jubilos, right? So we need to go back a little bit to Tusdale and get Jubilos, and then we'll be good. Or I think we might be going to Olex Trading Post, then get Jubilos. Uh, I'm not sure about that, though. So we'll go back to Tuskdale as it's nearly the same. So um, what we'll do today is, of course, we'll get Jubilos, we'll level him up and uh, give him some great equipment, then go to the inconsequent debates and see what that's all about. Apparently, we have to go there with Jubilos and with Lindsay. So we'll find out and we'll probably meet someone on the way. That's why I'm recording this already. So, um, da dum da dum da dum rest a tad and then this girl also gives us a chance to um, see more of Jubilos even though I don't want to play with him that much in this playthrough in general I I like to have him there and I want to find out a bit about him so hey Jubi um, I think we can, yeah, let's get to the throne room. Uh, let's also see if any event has happened while we were gone. But in in, uh, in general, we will see to it that he gets a good equipment. And that is our main focus. So, And there's nothing in the Kingdom Affairs which you can see, but I'm, I'm kind of, mm, I just, I still want to look. There could be an event. There could be an event. There is none. There is none. That's great. So let's, um, let's return to the throne room and give us Jubilos. Hey, look at that! <laughs> Who is that? You might ask. Yeah, that's that's a Mirius new pet. The leopard. Smile. Smiley is is similar. But a leopard is also really great and also gets pounds, which is why um, I took the leopard. Now let's see whom we can get there. Here he is. Our alchemist. <laughs> I don't really know what to do with an alchemist, to be sure, but we'll just give him couple of things use magic device for sure stealth he doesn't really need knowledge world knowledge arcana isn't bad we want to give him stealth more that makes more sense because we have uh emmanuel with for knowledge world so let's give him that uh he could get weapon focus bombs right that would be great for him um Yeah, I think that that should be good. Then we have um, Deadly Aim, something like that. Um, point Blank Shot, maybe. For the bombs. Oh, well. Let's, let's just take Bomb. Um, I think that should be good. Let's see what we got. We got Weapon Focus, Improved Initiative, Extra Bombs. Bombs, precise shot. Already got point blank and precise shot now. Weapon focus bombs makes a lot of sense. Right? We could also get clustered shots. Um, when you use a full attack to, to, uh, to make multiple ranged weapon attacks against the same opponent, total the damage from all hits before applying that opponent's damage reduction. That's also kind of good for the bombs. Combat expertise also always good, but not really. Um, deadly aim yeah we don't really need that we, we have the bombs the bombs are great so here we go let's see which spells we can further get um, we have cure critical cure critical is of course great um, greater falls life that's really tempting Restoration, yeah, that needs diamond dust, stone skin. Oh, 
touch of slime they already have that beast shape beast shape is something um that wouldn't be too bad for him really with a death ward death ward is pretty good cure critical yeah cure critical is really good freedom of movement as well but that's a really a long term spell and others can cast it like something like elemental body combined with bombs would be cool mm -hmm. greater invis i would already have two people with greater invis now so cure critical is is one of the most useful ones there um restoration can be done by the others but this is really combat critical so we'll have beast shape and cure critical wounds here we go weapon focus bombs and um yeah let's have a look what was it in abilities uh skills here we go yeah we need dex and int so we've got this weapon focus bombs that will be good let's complete that mm. again we'll have a look at him he has cloak of resistance he has the professor's hat two bonus on all skill checks and a bag of holding studded leather plus two um incredible dexterity plus two a cervic ring yeah Better bombs, ring of protection plus one, braces of armor. Yeah, we should we should really give him better better braces of armor. I mean, I think we have plus four or plus five or at least plus three um, braces of armor. That that would be great. And we have a heavy crossbow. That's also a nice thing to have here. So let's have a look what we can get him. Um, breastplate isn't isn't a good thing to have, but maybe an assassin's chain shirt is also a good thing. Let's try that for him. As well as yeah, that thing, acid chain shirt. Then let's see if we can get more dexterity. Yeah, plus four dexterity. Um, braces of armor plus four and here even plus five cervic ring yeah I don't think that you can use that two times um, amulet of natural armor plus two ring of protection plus two is that there no okay so Let's see. Let us see him. So that's a light armor. That's also a light armor. Let's see. Um, how much is that? That is 15 spell failure chance. This has four dexterity, which is still okay for him. A little bit more chance, but three more armor class is just so good. Um, Mm, yeah, I think we'll we'll go for this. Mm, the weaponry isn't so prevalent, but the braces of armor plus five will make a big difference. In the end, uh, let's see what happens if we take that away. Yeah, no, no. that is still good. That is still good. We'll get the assassin's cha chain shirt, really. The other things are just in case. We have this, gives us more dexterity. Um, yeah, oh, we ha we didn't ha even have any amulet, so we have one now. Um, and that should be good. I mean, we can give him... Yeah, I mean, the Chaos Shard is great. It's plus two. The Heavy Crossbow is also pretty great. Um, we could maybe give him something a little bit better. 
let's have a short look at the um, at the proficiency simple weapon proficiency all right so we can use simple weapons that means no bows but crossbows yeah all simple weapons all simple weapons so we're going down there Bring these back. Mm. Wand of Burning Arc. Uh, Wand of Burning Hands. Uh, I think we'll be pretty good with... A simple weapon, I don't know. Is is the sickle a simple weapon? It's only a light weapon. Mm -hmm. The rapier, surely not. A great club, I think, is a simple weapon, but he won't do good with that. Right, a cold iron dagger. That is something I'd say we could use. and give him so he has like these two okay shard is good but we want cold iron in the main hand and so on it's it should be it should be fine to have these two together and now We can think about whom to leave behind instead. Hmm. Hmm. That's a good question, right? Um, who is kind of optional? I would say Lindsay because he's basically replacing Lindsay. It could be that Octavia is kind of optional. But she's also really relevant. A Miri? Ah, we need a Miri. Gaia is just too good with the buffs. In due time. I think it may have to be Octavia. That we leave behind for this. Let's also give this guy our collection. Wow, we shouldn't have stopped for this, but... Uh, <laughs> is what it is um so we'll leave behind octavia for now um do we have haste memorized no okay let's let's get into the spell we should book. move we should then memorize haste that's the main thing that would that would help us right uh where it's haste, it's level 3. And look at that, we also have more spell slots. Wonderful, scene with communal, fireball and displacement. That make a lot of sense together. We don't need the fireball, we have Jubilos then. Let's give get, give us another haste. Um, yeah, look at that. We can also update that. Phantasmal killer. Eh. Remove curse isn't bad. Greater Inwis makes a lot of sense. Five. We cannot cast five yet. One or two or zero. Yeah, we're good. And while we're doing that, we can also look at Octavia's stuff. Right, uh, so we've got haste here. We've got haste two times. Um, stinking cloud. Nah. Mm. I don't know. Well, 
lightning bolt won't be too bad, I guess. Uh, and then we can get something here. Uh, controlled fireball and uh, greater invis. Oh, we have nothing to place here yet. Uh, we will have to look for that, right? We need something for transmutation. And we only have necromancy, which he kind of hates. I do what I must. Now let's um, send her back and pick up Jubilost. And go go back. Go back. So um, let's talk about that. That's so that's some kind of a tournament. Um, where we're going now, and it's a tournament that is held by Faye. At least that's what we've heard from it. I've never been there because this is a blind playthrough, so um, they they won't let us in without Jubilos, so uh, we can now go to the inconsequent debates. Apparently you won't die there, but for what it's worth, I don't know. We'll see if Jubilos can help us. Adventures can wait. So we'll rest before we're entering here. We have an okay equipped Jubilos, not great, but and I've also never played the the alchemist really, so the bombs will be interesting to say the least until I figure them out in combat. If it comes to combat, apparently it doesn't come to combat, but we'll see how that goes. So we meet frogs and nerd Sotten Roppel, a very pale gnome. With dull, brittle hair is scribbling something busily on a small scroll, not looking up as you approach. Ah, here you are, at last. Go read the rules quickly. They're posted a little further along. The other teams already arrived a while ago. The host said we'll start as soon as you show up and read the rules. Of course, I'm famous enough for my admirers to follow my every move, Jubilus says. But still, I'd like to know, how did you know we were coming? Sotten Ruppel shrugs. The host said so. Well, are you going to keep wasting time? Read the rules and we'll start. Okay. There's Jubilos, there's Lindsay. Uh, we can talk to... There are rules hanging on the poles. Go read them quickly or you can't participate. Interesting. What is the rule? Fixing his glasses, Jubilos looks at the paper describing the rules. Well, let's see. I'll read out loud so that everyone can hear. Rules of the inconsequent debates, year to be added later. I see the authors didn't overstrain themselves, so the rules. Item 1. Away the host and everything. Item 2. Come in triplets. Item 3. No fighting, no killing each other, even temporarily. Even if you really want to, even if you apologize later. Item 4. The most important one. The participant must assume the shape of a giant frog. Jubilos looks puzzled. A frog? What does that have to do with anything? Are those the right rules for the competition? What irresponsible word monger me- What is this? I am a frog! Something's obviously wrong here. Examination offers nothing. Just like anything else that involves the Fae, the rules scroll looks ordinary and suspicious at the same time. I don't know what to believe. Maybe it's supposed to be like this. So we're just going to leave it as it is? I've got a better idea. Let Lindsay buy us some time. I'll talk to the other participants. Don't worry about anything. I'll go run to the host and ask him a few questions for my book. It'll buy you some time. You start looking for whoever is responsible for this. A little kobold raises a little snout at you. Greetings! Uh, are you participating too? Yes, participate. I participate. Amazing. We'll be competing against the inarticulate king of unforgettable Tartuk. The kobold looks at Jubilos with interest. Huge frog, you speak. Can we mount you? I feed you ants. Clean you skin. I am rider. In the list of all the job offers I've ever received that will be honorably placed in the I'm ready to cry section, says Jubilos. Why do you have those germoirs there? The kobold lowers his head. Face say need three. I know three, I know friends, wanted to 
wanted to go very much. Caught this jump mice. Now we are three. Participate. Okay, these little jump mice. <laughs> yeah, as you can see. It's like a spell was cast off of my friend when he read the rules. Did anything like that happen to you? I don't read. No, help me. Read for me aloud, but then scream. I scared. Um, so what do you want to ask the host if you win? I dragon. How become dragon? All right. See you. Okay. And Sir Alfred. Greetings. I'm Sir Alfred, loyal follower of the tentacles of Iomede. Okay. Known as the inheritor light of the sword and lady of valor is the goddess of righteous valor. Um, the tentacles of Iomede. Knight, noble, and crusader from Mendev. Tentacles. Oh, yes. My knightly motto used to be cautious even in death, but I'm afraid it must now be changed to severing the tentacles of evil. In just a few phrases, he managed to pour more pomposity on us than I can manage in a week. Quite a talent, Jubilus says. The tentacles of evil? And why is it that you want to change the motto, sir? You see, upon my arrival, I immediately went to read the tentacles of the event, but Guile already had me in its tentacles. The rules were charmed, and everyone who reads them must say tentacles every so often, which is happening to me just now. Tentacles, I can't get rid of this affliction at least. Tentacles, I can make it into my motto. Hmm. Did you try to talk to the hosts about this? I did in the name of tentacles, but facing that cheating within the rules is tentacles and perfectly appropriate. As a true knight, I must overcome these tentacles resolutely. Okay, do you have any idea who could have done this to the rules? It was done by one of the participants who allowed their tentacles to guide their heart. Including you and me and my tentacles, four teams of three arrived. I swear by my tentacles, my service to most honest Eomede would never allow such tentacles. Nor would I suspect you and your outstanding companions, noble tentacles all. Look for the villain among the other two tentacles, our teams. So you're a Mandevian crusader. Truly spoken, I hope you have heard about our glorious tentacles. Our order fights demons fearlessly, preventing their tentacles from spreading across the world. Um, and you're an Azima. Azimars are not so uncommon in our tentacles. Celestials are known to aid Mandivian crusaders in our war, war against the demons. Sometimes this tentacles the camaraderie sparks a tentacle, I mean personal attraction. But just the presence of a holy celestial nearby can sometimes cause the birth of an Azimut child. See? Easiest tentacles. Ah, uh, yeah. The, just the presence. Yeah. What kind of presence? Are you participating in the debates? I most certainly am by my tentacles. I've come here to carry out the will of my tentacles. Is that a good example for my tentacles and possibly to find a new way to find tentacles that is demons? If I win, the fame might answer all my tentacles. Okay, I have to go. Yeah, but let me ask you, and in the name of tentacles, don't consider it idle curiosity. What need brought you to the tentacles debates? Jubilos says, that would be me. I ask for the Baron's help in this tentacles. Ah! In this endeavor, because winning will let us ask what made the tentacles. Ah! What caused the gnomes to leave the first world? The bleaching. For me, these tentacles are something more than mere scientific curiosity. I am amazed at how inquisitive the tentacles of your mind are, sir. I admit it's the first tentacles that I've ever talked to. Such a learned frog. Tentacles. Forgive me my ignorance, but I ne it never even crossed my feeble tentacle. That there are educated ones among your race. You will lost for the love of Desna, I'm not a frog. Let it be known to you, sir, that you're speaking to Jubilus Nathrop. Well-known publicist and researcher, this shape, but the consequence of a silly prank. I am a gnome, and that is why I'm participating in the debates. To learn how my race received the reflection called the bleaching, and discover a way to find it. In what case, I wish our worthy rivals good tentacles in the name of truth, justice, and tentacles. 
Ho, ho, ho. So, who, who more is here? A temple guard. There's someone in the behind. I'd rather fight with demons than talk with Fey. Okay, there's other giant frogs. We cannot talk to these. I'm off. There's more people out here. Um, hey, there's Lindsay. I'm there. Hmm. Lincelins, the debates, the fey, and the mysteries, and most importantly, we don't have to fight anyone. I like this adventure. Hmm. Yeah, we'll see, we'll see where this leads us to. And what does the host have to say? I don't really know about the host. Let's yeah, let's have a look time. around. Is there more? And the debates. Uh, what about this guy? Look at our master, a true example of knighthood he is. Follow if you dare. Mm -hmm. That must be Sir Alfrey. Interesting, interesting. So, we're marching back. Let's talk to Jubilost. The Fey are no match to my ingenuity. Uh, you want me to read this nonsense again? It's not going to get any worse. So that's the same, and then item four. Most important one, the participant must say tentacles at least every ten words. Wait, did it work? I'm not a frog anymore. Thank tentacles. Wait. What was that I meant to say? Thank Desna. I'm probably just tentacles. I'm tired. Just tired. It makes me tentacles. Ah. Okay. Um, what about this? You want me to read these tentacles again? Yeah. Starts the same and then item 4, the most important one. The participant must routinely enter desperate screaming fits. Ah, in this rule scroll is really charmed. It will be so much fun. Wait, did I just really just scream that? I'm the model of academic tact and restraint. What is going on? For the love of Desna. What the heck? Want me to read this nonsense? Fine, it starts the same and then uh, a participant must say tentacles at every ten words. Uh, oh. oh my, someone has such a delicate and brilliant sense of tentacles humor. What? Who would have thought someone is so sophisticated, eloquent and tentacles such as I am? Uh, actually, I meant to say someone has tentacles as I sophisticated as I would fill this speech with tentacles. No, I refuse to believe this is happening. Okay. Um... It starts the same, and then item four, the most important one, the participant. Ah, 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 tell me what happened. I feel strange, a bit larger, a bit falling, and naked, a bit yearning to gobble up that fly. Okay. And you can read that, and it stops. Okay, it, he stops being a frog now. Um, there's a couple of people here on the side. Nerd Zottenroppel. The pale gnome reads aloud enthusiastically, and the young wizard is pretty thrashed about in his fetters, but all in vain. The shoots of the plants held him tightly. The nymph, cruel and beautiful, sneered at him, and immediately... And immediately what? This giant frog. And immediately anything, the left frog is mocking the right one. Does this book ever end? I thought the wizard would die in the last chapter while he was running from the horde of unicorns through fields of giant fly traps. Oh, like you understand anything about literature, you stupid toad? The gnome looks at you. Ah, hello again, travelers. It seems I haven't introduced myself. I'm Nerd Sottenroppel, and these two idiots are my brothers. We are and Lua. Uh, so what did the nymph immediately do to the wizard? It's too much to tell. She keeps him hostage for another four chapters. I like it when it's more like real life. In this author's last book, he escapes from the evil wizard in five minutes. Okay, um... Why are you calling those frogs your brothers? Ha ha ha, these fools read the rules, and the rules are charmed. 
Nerds colorless and dim eyes flare up with a mad and joyful fire. Anyone who reads them turns into a frog. So now I have two frog brothers. I guess I'll leave them as they are. When else will I ever get a chance to laugh so much? Um, uh, why are they both frogs? Did they read them together? Yes, nerd responds quickly. Nah, the frog on the right says happily. Shut up, Lua. Of course we did. We read them when we transformed. Now we're sitting and croaking. Okay, the little kobold said, what if you helped him to read the rules? Yeah, that's true. But he wasn't trying to read the frog rules. They're different on every pole. One turns you into a frog, another one makes you say tentacles, and the third one makes you scream like crazy. Hilarious, right? Not remotely, okay. Mm. You suffer from the bleaching, don't you? She's dying from the bleaching. Dubilus' voice is grim. It's all right, I've still got a fair bit of fight left in me, says Sodden Ropple. The Sodden Ropples don't go down easy. No, it smiles cunningly. My brothers and I lost our color long ago. But death still hasn't taken us. Okay. So you're participating? Sure, although really we're just here to see the show. We figured it would be fun and we were right. You're confused, my friends. If one of you read the rules for the kobold, why isn't one of you screaming? How was it that both your brothers were turned into frogs and if Nerd already saw what happened and knew the rules were charmed, then why did she tell us to read them? Do you suspect us of something, says Nerd? Why would we charm the rules and read them ourselves? Or make you read them and put a spell on you, nerd, and just so ridiculous helm and strike the rakish pose. Because you're gnomes, says Jubilus. Only a gnome could think of playing a joke on everyone around and then joyfully get caught in their own prank. You're far-sighted and loud-voiced. I like you. Um... Ah, you're far-sighted and loud-voiced. I like you. Um, says Nerd Sort and Ropple. Uh, Sort and Ropple. Eh, uh, yeah. Now, Jubilos is released from the spell, right? Um, stop this immediately and release Jubilos from the spell. Croak. Croak, croak. We're just stupid frogs and we understand nothing. Nerd pretends not to hear anything. I apologize in advance if another screaming fit is about to start, but please let's leave them be. I'm ready for anything, despite the fact that I look like an idiot because of all this screaming. Uh huh. Answer clearly, did you charm the rules? Why are you picking on us? Our sister is the one who did it. Enough snitching, Lua. You're just jealous that it was Nerd who came up with the idea. Okay. And why? You're so boring, we wanted to, so we did it. Just think how funny it will be. Debates where all the participants are screaming or talking about tentacles or just croaking. Nerd roars with laughter, but we're honest players, so we charmed ourselves too. We wouldn't want an unfair advantage. Um, well, I say it's a fine prank. Let everything stay as it is. We, we don't really have a chance for an intimidate. Jubilo sighs with relief. Amazingly. Ah, there you are. Glad I found you. I stalled for as long as I could. Now it's time to begin. Let's go. And quickly. The hooded creature, the host, looks mundane. But after looking for a time, uh, one might notice the figure's contours tremble and flow as in a haze. Welcome to the inconsequent debates. You can call us the host with reason for all that happens here today. Okay, so we've done this. I need a break for my voice and we will start we have now seen the background for the debates and we'll start the debates in the next episode thank you for watching happy gaming to you let's enjoy that i don't know fairy fire or what what this is together have a great time until then happy gaming see you soon let's go through the debates together until next time